polarization uh, is uh, actually the direction of the uh, fields uh, of the propagating wave. Let's start uh, here from uh, reminding what is a plane wave. Plane wave, with if we explain as we explained uh, earlier, is if we look at an antenna that radiates energy. The energy is spread away on an imaginary sphere, okay? And then we take a slice of this sphere. If we are far enough, then this slice, assuming we cut it like a rectangle, then it's pretty much plain. Across this plain slice that we took away from the sphere, uh, if we observe it, we see that the electric fields and uh, uh, the electric field and the magnetic field at any point of this slice on this slice is the same and that the electric field is perpendicular to the magnetic field. This is uh, very important and uh, in these conditions we are now uh, discussing only on plane waves which are far enough from the antenna and the electric uh, field is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Now, assuming we draw a line, assuming this is an antenna and we draw a line from the antenna, okay, and then we uh, uh, let the antenna start radiating, it starts uh, radiating uh, energy away and then we freeze the time. We freeze the time like, like some kind of a magic. We freeze the time and then we start looking what we have along this line. Okay, we will see a wave like here. Okay, and we will see the electric field in a shape of a sinus wave. And the magnetic field will be also in a shape on the of a sinus wave. As you can see, the magnetic and the electric field are perpendicular. Of course, we are assuming we are far enough from the antenna, I remind. This is very important. Okay, now what these arrows here represent. The magnetic and the electric fields are vectors, meaning they are sizes with direction. Okay, let's, uh, let's, we have this kind of sizes anywhere else in life. Assuming I want to push someone, okay, then the amount of force that I operate, uh, put on him, it's, it's not the only, it is not the only thing that matters. It also matters the direction that I put, that I uh, push him uh, to. I can, pu I can push someone in this direction and then I can push him to this direction. In both cases, the result will be different. In radiation, it is the same. The uh, electric field and the magnetic fields are directed to a specific direction, represented by these arrows. Uh, the, the magnitude of, this, uh, of the power is represented by the length of the arrow, and the direction is represented by, direction, by the direction of the arrow. So we have, we uh, uh, have frozen the, 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 our time and we look on, uh, along this line uh, which starts from the antenna and away from it and we see a sine wave of electric fields and a sine wave of magnetic fields and if the electric fields are perpendicular to the ground then we call this polarization vertical. We see here that uh, all along the line, the uh, direction of the uh, 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 arrows that represent the, the electric fields are perpendicular to the ground. They always stay perpendicular to the ground. They never changes. The only thing that changes is the uh, uh, magnitude of them of the arrows and uh, the direction up or down doesn't really matter because down is a minus of the same size that goes up so they are stay perpendicular to the ground the electric field and if the electric field stays perpendicular to the ground we call this polarization vertical